Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people and welcome. My name is Earl and today I've powered on Randall. Randall is a action platformer Metroidvania-ish uh, game and it is being developed by We The Four Studios. And in Randall you are playing in a world where everyone seems to be mind controlled by the sort of government kind of thingy. But there are a few there who are not yet. And some of them are caught in prison and as Randall you're trying to find shit out and trying to free those men. Yes, so let's start with the options menu. A platformer, so we got our options here. Not a lot, right? Music, FX volume and voice volume. So you got separate volume sliders. Um, there are no graphic options yet. I do say my opinion is a bit that for platformers... Most of them run fine and do not need a whole lot of performance, so you can get away with leaving out some kind of graphics options, but again, and I see this more often in games, why is there no key binding op uh, option in the main menu? I mean, I can see the controls when I'm playing, you can go to menu and see your controls, you can play this with controller and with keyboard. But I can't see them here and also there's no key rebindings and I do like key rebindings because everyone plays differently with their own style and they can like your game but they can't like your key bindings so please people add them, uh, developers add them. I'm currently playing with my keyboard because as usual um, the shield controller that I have is not properly recognized and my left and right trigger do not work for some reason in this game. I think this game is played better with a controller, but I'm doing it with keyboard, it's playing fine actually, but I would recommend it to play it with a controller if you have one. So let's continue the game, it's an extra platformer, there's actually a combat involved in this game, yes, yes, yes. So here we are in Randall and ooh, there's already a cutscene. Who said slavery was abolished? And that's it, I'm currently in the factory, maybe if we move on one bit further, no not yet, there's some factory slave. Can we move to this one? No, then we go to the prison. I'm screwing this up already. And there's a loading screen, there are loading screens if you switch between the levels. But, oh here it is, this is what I was looking for. The map. So, as you can see here, time elapsed 2 hours and 6 minutes, I thought I played more but... Anyhow, you got these uh, these areas here. You got the city, the, the, the so academy, the prison, and the factory. And in the city, for now, it's basically your hub where you go to the different where you go to the different areas. And I've spent to complete one area. I'm currently at the prison. No, I'm currently at the factory. Sorry. To complete one area, uh, it took it takes around one hour to one and a half, depends on how good you are. My uh, in my case, it takes one and a half hour, but one to one and a half hour, so that means we got there one, two, three, four, five, and maybe there's some things in the city. So there's actually, if it continues like this, which I assume it is, there's actually quite a lot of gameplay here. That means between six and nine hours, something like that, depends on how good you are and how quick you are so in my case there's nine hours I played three hours already but this said two I don't know why so the factory am I here this is actually your place where you can teleport to the different locations for example I can go to Academy to these three levels or to the prison to these four levels you can just teleport to wherever you like if you are in this map so how do I come back at the factory am I at the factory now no, this is not the factory, this is the prison. And why? Okay, I screwed this up. So here we are at the prison, not at the factory, because something went wrong and I have to go to the prison again to go to the factory, which got me frustrated quite a fucking bit, yes. Sorry for using that word. So here we are in the prison and as you may have seen already, the game does look pretty good actually. I like it. I like the style. It runs well, so that's always great. Can we move here safely? Yes, we can. So at the start of each level, you find this map, which you can see, which shows the whole level, all the secret there. No, they're not really secret because they're on the map, but all the areas that are here. And access this door, which you can access. 
And there are some parts of the level which you cannot access if you do not have a special ability, like, well, most Metroidvania games. So you, it's actually rewarding to come back at one part of the level to get your power-up, for example. And, well, they're not really power-ups, but there are collectibles, like, you can have four collectibles for your health to get an extra health bar, four of those to get an extra energy ball, etc, etc. And what does this nuke has? Well, you do have here your move lists. Where you have all your moves. And all the moves are, well, in my opinion, pretty basic. They're not that complicated. So you got your ground fighting system, which is just pressing C. You can do a load kick air fighting system. You can make an uppercut, uppercut and an air jab. You can parry with X. You can dash with X. You can hop with X in space. You do have metal, no, mental explosion. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this moment. Mental Explosion, which will stun an enemy, and then if you press F on that enemy, you could fly. Well, you could throw yourself into a direction where you need to go. And you got Mind Control, where you can Mind Control an enemy, and if you have Mind Control an enemy, they do get the damage and not you. So that's pretty handy to use. Yes, indeed. So let's go and see what will happen so let's start with the platforming we got this little fellow over here what you have to do we have to stun him because if we stun him we can mind control him so stunning is one uh one ability and you can see my meter going down for how long he is stunned and if you mind control him oh that was too much that was f so to stun him again and if you mind control him, my meter will reset, as you can see, and then we can fly around in the level. Yes, we can. Ooh, let's go. Yes. So here we are. We can let go of him by pressing S again. We can stun him again, and then we punch him in the face by pressing C. So he dies and does not annoy me. So that's one part, and oh my god. You will see more failures if I do not edit them out at all. So let's wait until these things comes up. Then they go down, then we can go, then we can wall jump, then we can spin like this to get over this obstacle, then we wall jump, then we dash and spin. And if you actually hold your button longer, so for now, for example, space for the spin, dashing, jumping thingy, you actually jump further, so that's nice. So let's go, let's go, let's go, and there will be a part of the combat here, and as I said, well, my biggest complaint about this game is the combat. So these are the enemies, and also the enemy types, and to be, I don't know if I said this before, but the enemies are, well, pretty, I do find them quite basic and, and dull. They do not have really special things, and even, well, the two boss fights I had now, it's not that great, so we have to kill this dude because he summons more other duties. We have to kill him first, and even the combat, it's not... I do it... I think there's a lack of responsiveness in the combat, in my opinion. And also, sometimes the animation quality of the... Of the foes, of the enemies, so it's not great. Then he will summon more more duties and these duties are just punchy guys they will just walk and see if they can punch you and actually pretty weak and well there we go and as you can see it's actually quite easy so you just avoid them jump you can only fight one enemy at a time so if you want to switch you can press f like this and you put them backwards and then you can find another enemy if you want but we have to kill this guy as i said so follow him and these are dead that means the gates are open Again, the combat, while well, it's not the strongest point of this game, in my opinion, and I don't know... I'm not completely sure if it is the main point of this game, because then... It's doing an average job, in my opinion. It's fun, though. It's not too complicated, so for the hobos like me, who are terrible at fighting games, like, for example, Super Smash, I suck at it. Then the combat, well, it's quite easy, no, I didn't want to go there. It's annoying sometimes that that key is also for going to some place, to using a gate. So, to see here, this is actually the boss of the prison. And you will see what I mean. Ooh, it's already gone. Well, I will show you a footage now. So 
So this is actually a clip of me which I recorded earlier where I am fighting the boss as you can see here and maybe this is what I'm maybe you can see here what I meant is that the animation quality and the punch and the feedback of the combat well it's not quite what I want also the animations of this boss well they're they're not they're not grabbing me and also the abilities of these boss are not grabbing me after I found out how to fight them, because in the beginning I was dying, I got to admit that. I got to admit that um, the boss was actually quite easy. You just had to dash through him and um, punch him quite a little bit, and then dash through him again. And what this boss does, he does summon enemies, which you have to fight. So there's sort of a horde of rounds of enemies, but also the balls that he's throwing. Um, are damaging those enemies, which is quite strange in my opinion, because it makes it quite a lot easier for the player. And what I did now is I mind control this guy, so the enemy does get oh, so the enemy does get his damage. Sorry if you heard that, that was my microphone hitting me with my microphone. But when, by mind controlling that guy um, and punching the other enemies, I was damaging him and then damaging, damaging the other foes, and that made it even easier. To fight these enemies so as you can see the he's going down again there is some kind of effect there is some kind of ability which did not impress me again we punch him we dash through him and there we go there we go there we go then he's done then we get another horde there are balls already hitting the enemy damaging him for me making it easier we stun that guy I cannot mind control him, I do can mind control him now, so we can punch the other enemies. The balls are again hitting him, um, you know what I mean, right? The animations are not great, the, the, why is this so? It makes it easier, it makes it a lot easier and I hope you get my point now. I don't want to read a red on about it, but I hope you get my point. So again, the combat, uh, combat is basic, it's basic and not always the best thing. So we move a little further now and I almost killed the boss as you can see and he's dead, that's it. Kinda strange, right? Kinda strange, yes. So this all sounds like a pretty negative story I know but actually the platforming is quite good because I do see myself as an average gamer and it is quite challenging for me so I think for other average gamers the global average is also quite challenging the platforming um, and also the new mechanics that are introduced are introduced in um, a quite well not fast pace a fast enough pace that it does not get boring so that you get a new mechanic every time get new platforms with that new new puzzle slash platforming with those mechanics so that's quite Good actually, the only problem is, is that I am too sucky to show you guys this. I really wanted to show you guys this, otherwise this, sound very, this whole video sounds very negative, but I'm stuck at a part now and I'm just getting frustrated, sorry, that's just my personality. I'm getting frustrated and I cannot get past it, but you have to trust me on this guys. I tried to show you it and the platform is actually quite, quite good. It's challenging enough, it's challenging enough. At least that's what I think. So to have an overall conclusion about this game, I think that it's actually quite a decent platformer, but it is focused on the platforming side. I mean, the combat is not really the strong part of this game, as I told you, I think, enough now. So if you want a decent platformer, which is... Um, which relies more on the platforming side and you don't really like the punching and stuff but still thinks well so now and then some fighting is not so, so now and then fighting is nice feel free to pick it up I think then it's quite the pick for you so with this conclusion I think it's time to wrap it up thank you a lot for watching guys I hope you liked this video and if you do feel free to press the like button and if you do not well the other button is right next to it if you want more first impressions, early access games and all that good stuff, feel free to subscribe. My name is Mineral and now for, as always, to be continued.